Guys, hey, we are in Biloxi, uh, about to head over to Gulfport. Just kind of wanted to film a little bit. The calm before the storm. You can definitely feel like there's something happening inside of the atmosphere, man. Um, not going to lie about it. Everybody is a little bit nervous, but, you know, we're, we're used to this. You know, this is life here in the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And, um, yeah. It, it, it doesn't get easier, but the preparation, if you do it with enough time, you know, you don't have to have so much stress on you, you know? And like I said, man, this is a different experience for me because, you know, I'm going to be having my small little family that is a new addition to my life with me during this time. And also, I'm going to have my brother here with me also. So it's, it's a very, very different experience. And um, yeah, I'm ready for it, obviously, you know, the challenge and everything. So what they're saying is, is that Marco and Laura, Marco's supposed to make landfall here in Mississippi, Louisiana area, um, and even possible possibility of going to Texas right around like El Paso, Houston area, you know, um, on Monday, Monday at uh, 7, 8 or 9 p.m. It could be 6, it could be 5, 6 or 7 p.m. also, but everything changes. We'll know very, very for certain, um, right in the morning time. So right now it's about, uh, 7 30, uh, excuse me, 8 30 at night here in, uh, Gulfport about to pass or here in Biloxi about to pass into Gulfport. And, um, you know, there's a couple of ships out in the distance, you know, uh, they've been moving all of the ships out of the Harbor and everything's just been really, really busy on Keesler air force base. All of the machines inside of the gyms, have been uh, packed away and uh, turned off. You know, I think that was the biggest difference that I saw. I was like, "Whoa, man, this is this is pretty crazy, man." You know, they're unplugged. Um, all of the debris that's outside are possible debris, and you know, flying objects that could turn into projectiles have been moved. Um, there's a couple people that have been working there, and they are all you know tapped out. A couple people at the beach still um but there was a lot of people at the beach today man right before the hurricane just kind of chilling out there kind of blew my mind just to see you know so much activity you know there um on on the beach man so but yeah i just wanted to show this this is the uh mississippi sign when you head here you get to see that most people you know tourists and everything when you first come to uh the gulf coast they'll take pictures of that usually everybody does it man so we'll see what that looks like, man, in the upcoming days. So the last hurricane that we had, the last tropical storm, um, was um, some weird name. Anyway, I forgot. I forget the name at this time, but it, it was a, a harbor destroying um, hurricane, tropical storm. So the winds were so bad that they just destroyed a couple of the, the local piers that um, were here. They rebuilt everything. And then, you know, we end up, you know, getting that real nasty brown stuff that came on the beach. And they're still, you know, continuing to clean up, you know, that stuff from the beach. And they haven't even finished. Now we're getting another tropical storm slash hurricane. And then on Wednesday, we get another one. So work right now for me is uh, we're off the 24th. And then I think that we go back the 25th to clean up and then. 26th we're off and then we go back to 27th and then obviously the 28th and then the 29th and 30th I'm off you know because that's my normal um, off days but yeah it was it was it was kind of it was a little different you know going to work today you know because I, I just wanted to get the hell out of there man to get home and start prepping man so I was able to go to Walmart got some stuff you know stuff for the kids got some stuff for me and then you know the old lady and stuff got some stuff for the kids and you know, we actually just left Walmart, um, you know, back at the beginning of the video. And, um, you know, um, I, I'm taking all the gear, pretty much all the food and stuff and the supplies home um, to get ready, you know. So I got to start freezing water. I got some in the freezer right now, but I'm going to freeze some more. Um, I have to start, you know, prepping the ice, all that stuff, man. There's so much stuff to do. But, you know, I'm, I'm up for the challenge, you know, the challenge of, of doing this, man. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun, but it's, it's nerve wracking, you know, but not fun as in, you know, oh man, this is, this is some kind of adventure, 
um, you know, we're, we're ready for, for an adventure. Let's do it again. No. And here's the thing right here. This is the Centennial Plaza. Just got fixed up. And now it's, you know, it's going to, you know, end up getting, you know, destroyed again. And that place, man, I mean, I, I love what they did with it because it was such an eyesore. But now, you know, man, they're going to have to, you know, um, do some more renovation, man, because um, the purpose of this video, I kind of forgot because I got on a little rant and a little, you know, talking about some good stuff. What you're seeing right now, we're on Highway 90. We are now, you know, entering into, you know, uh, Gulfport coming up here uh, really, really shortly. Uh, it's going to be four to five feet of um, storm surge. So the, the the water is literally right over here, um, you know, to the left of us. And the storm surge is four to five feet. You know, these houses, you know, back there, pretty much anywhere where there's, you know, localized flooding, that's where it's going to be at. You know, the, the waves are coming, you know, this whole Highway 90 will be covered in the low-lying areas. High, high areas, you know, like this little area right here, as soon as you get around this corner, there's a little dip. So, you know, that's going to be interesting to see. And, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know who's going to be out here tracking it, but I know there's going to be a couple of people. For myself, though, I'll be doing it. If I, if I do um, any kind of videos, it'll probably be from my balcony. I think that that's, you know, obviously the safest spot. And then plus, you know, I have a little bit more control of, um, you know, if I need to go to shelter, I got a shelter to my right inside of my little storage unit on my balcony. And then obviously I can go into, you know, my house and, and get to, you know, where I need to go. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely ready for it. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for it. I know what's going on. I got my weather, weather radio. I got all that stuff, man. And so I think we'll do okay. You know, I think that, you know, we'll be safe. And plus, you know, like I'm, I'm actually going to I'm going to continue filming all the way to my to my house or just before, because obviously I'm not going to give out my secret layer location. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't see the fortress of solitude. You know, you know that's that's impossible. You can never find it. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to continue uh, filming and then, you know, we'll uh, show you guys exactly, you know, all the looks and stuff. And there's people right there, you know, on the beach. Walking on the beach, man, it's crazy. Not even at home preparing, man. But, you know, that's that's one of the most fascinating things, too, about living on the Gulf Coast, man. There's just a lackadaisical approach to everything. They've been through so much hell with Camille, Katrina, you know, and all the other ones, man, that came before and came after that they just be honest, it, it's like it's not like they don't they don't care. It's just that's just the way it is here. You know, one thing that I'm really worried about, and I kind of slow down just a little bit. This is the aquarium. This is the Mississippi Aquarium, and uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pull over here just a little bit so we can kind of see this because this place is gonna definitely um, get destroyed. So this is the aquarium. You can hear the water. That's just the setup that they have. And all these flowers and stuff, all this, man, is probably going to be covered in water from the storm surge. Because, like I said, the storm surge is literally right there, you know what I'm saying? It's literally right right at this, this point, man. So, hopefully, you know, it doesn't get, you know, too bad. There's Jones Park right here. That'll definitely have some sort of, you know, storm surge inside of that, that area. And then, obviously, you know, downtown, here's the Markham building. I call it the Mark Hamill building. But, um, <clears throat> that'll have, uh... A little bit of storm surge. And I'm going to get back over real quick. I was thinking I'd go about going a different way. But yeah, this is um, Island View coming up here on the right. We're obviously downtown Gulfport. There's the uh, post office. And like I said, everything is very calm, man, before you know the storm comes, man. That's one thing that gets very eerie. As you, uh, you know, experience this life here in the Gulf Coast, man, everything gets calm until, you know, it happens. And you're like, damn, that was fast. Because once it goes, once it goes, it, it goes, man. And you're just like, dude, this is crazy, man. This is nuts. But, uh, yeah, man, um, everything else here, um, you know, they'll start doing their hurricane preps. Obviously, they're still doing that, you know, getting all these vehicles that are uh, that are here off the, um, off the lot. You know what I'm saying? Getting them to move their stuff. You know, getting any kind of debris that's laying around. They'll, they'll definitely be doing that. And, um, yeah, everybody's just batting down the hatches. All the water that was outside is gone. 
here's the local bank and stuff. And yeah, most of this stuff down here, man, will be underwater um, if we get that, you know, five feet of a uh, storm surge. If you think about it, man, just think about your height. You know, for me, I'm 5'11", you know, always, always claim six foot, you know what I'm saying? But for 5'11", man, it's even, you know, it's no joke, you know, to, to have that much storm surge. It's, it's pretty, pretty insane, man. So, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, interested to see exactly what they're going to be, you know, doing as far as the, um, the local authorities and the local, um, you know, people that are going to be, you know, fighting this thing, how many people they're going to have to save, all that stuff, you know, or, you know, what I'm saying what I'm hoping, what I'm really praying for, man, is that we don't get it at all. Like nothing happens, you know, and they've already closed down, man. Usually that, that place is open till nine. They've already closed down, but I hope I hope that you know it slows down and then you know just comes here and you know sticks around for you know maybe two to three hours and gets gets the hell out of Dodge and goes somewhere else, man. You know that's that's definitely what you hope for. You don't wish it on anybody else, you know, but you definitely don't want the you know Gulf Coast to be hit, man. So, but um yeah, this is uh, heading towards my house, man. Everything else is calm. It's cool. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back here with another video in the morning. Um, as soon as day daylight breaks, I'll have a morning video, afternoon, um, evening video, and then that'll be it, man. Right there, guys. Take it easy. Be safe. And um, yeah, here we go again.